like to talk to you about the new uh, custom peak walk um, system that uh, it's included in the in, in gear from version 2.21 and it's available if you have uh, Maya 2016.5 like uh, I think it's extension 2 or later because it's uh, using the um, tag controls node to um, fit the navigation so what is the custom pick walk well basically it's um, similar to the um, the Maya default custom pick walk that you have when you set uh, the siblings information on the attributes uh, on the tag uh, on the control tag uh, node so I'm just gonna check here my control tag now so you can see here you have a parent and you can cycle walk siblings so that's um that's really nice it's how maya maya works and you have some siblings thing and but i, I found that it was a quite random thing for instance um i ha i set my tags and everything but if i select here I'm, I'm using the arrow key so this is the default one from maya so if i go left it selects this if i go left again selects i don't know what selecting something on the uh, ik that is hide keep walking left left in some point selects the spine left left the the foot i mean the leg something and in some point ends up selecting everything i mean the top node the local one so that's actually i think it's pretty inconsistent that when you work siblings when you work uh from uh one to another should be more more consistent so let's say um okay great what ah, okay um i have the eraser so let's say this is my fantastic rig look at me and i have here some parts so if i'm just gonna make it smaller this so if i wa walk siblings like I, I imagine like okay so i have my shoulder here so if i walk sibling i walk this shoulder if i walk again if there is nothing else i should go back to this one and here they are not really siblings they are mirror objects like this elbow here but it's not really like brother let's say so if you have your hierarchy you have the parent you have the child's so i guess if same parent have two childs the childs are bros yeah so this is the navigation that uh, I, I imagine and it's more natural to to me to to imagine like this 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 is not really a brother it's more like cousin so because we have this in the middle so this uh, represents like this is the let's say the spine and then we have the shoulders and then we have the controls for the elbows so they are not really re direct related so this is direct related because share the same parent but this is not so but there are mirror so i can understand that this is the left shoulder and this is the right shoulder um sorry elbow elbow yeah elbow yeah so hmm maya default is not really intuitive i think they're, they work kind of nice when you go up and down that's kind of working what i said here but it's not uh currently so i did the first implementation of the custom p walk for uh m gear so it has a lot of space for uh, improvement but uh, i think it's working quite nice at this point so the first thing you need to do is uh, to create your uh, hotkeys for mgear so i'm going to utilities and create mgear hotkeys so the first thing we have to do and later we need to set our custom pick walk to um some shortcuts or hotkeys so for me i'm gonna show you how i do it um but obviously each person will have his own preference so remember um mgear doesn't doesn't set for you the 
the keys or the, the, the combinations, only create the run run commands or run, runtime commands, I think it's called. Okay, so we go here on the custom scripts area and check mgear. I already have set my, my commands. And you can see here we have the, M, uh, the mgear walk transform. So we have, uh, yeah, by default, it walks the transform. That's important to, to remember. Um, even if you don't have the tags, so in Maya, let's uh, just make a little, whoop, 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 a little thing here. So if you have, have two, oops. Okay, I have two cubes, so I'm just gonna parent this to this. So basically, um, if we check here and just gonna show shapes, as you can see clear. So if I use the Maya default, I don't have uh, assigned tags to these shortcuts. So basically it's gonna navigate like classic Maya style, like selecting the um, shape. And now you imagine you go down because you want to select the other cube, but no, because the shape and the other cube are like siblings are uh, brothers. So you need to left or right um, arrow that I think this is very, uh, I don't know how to say, but it's not intuitive at all. With the other, uh, with the Maya, I'm sorry, M gear hotkey, it navigates only the um, the transforms. So it's good for navigate the DAG, but you jump the um, shapes. So that's very interesting. So okay, that's a slightly difference. So if, if you have tags, it's gonna it's gonna check the control tags and do his stuff. Okay, so and also. Yeah, that's something I like it in Softimage, and it's that the um, you can add to the selection. Uh, you cannot remove like Softimage, but you can add. So now with the full Maya thing, let's say go from from uh, the child to the parent. So if I use Shift and up or something, it's not it's not gonna work. It's not gonna add what I was expecting is to select this and this. And this is very convenient when you, you keyframing or things like that, or even posing like a finger or something you want to add to the selection. So with uh, gear one, you can add it. So we need to look for transform child, uh, walk transform parent, or transform left, right. And this is the add. So this is combined with a shift. And then we have the walk transform child normal that it's without the combination. So if you check here, what I'm using, it's the, the W, A, D, N, R, I'm uh, sorry, X. And I show you why. So let's say you are a gamer and you are um, used to use these buttons here. So where you have the W, the S here, the D and the A. So this is pretty common and you use your your mouse to play some Counter-Strike or something like that. Okay, cool. So let's add to this the Alt. And this is for navigation in Maya. So uh, this is already something else in Maya by default, but I just don't care. I just do my own, my own stuff that fits better for my uh, workflow. So um, now I can just gonna use a new, where is the new layer here? Oh, this one. So I'm gonna try to make a horrible draw here, but this is my thumb and these are my fingers. Oh my God. Yeah, I have completely, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, this is my hand. Oh, that's awful. Okay, but I put my hand like that. So I quick, uh, normally I try to keep all the important keys on the radio of my left hand because the, the right hand is used for, for the mouse or the, the, the pen, the, the Wacom pen. So that's how I put my, my fingers here. So if we add to this combination here, the, the X, and I like the X because it looks like a mirror, like something that goes from one direction to another. So I have all the 
navigation keys that I need to, and yeah, my pinky here, uh, I'm sorry, it's not there, but it's there around here is my, my shift key. So I, I just put my thing, my pinky there, breaking everything. So, okay, I'm just gonna hide my terrible hand. So this is the combination that I use for, for this custom navigation. It's the one I have here. You probably can stop the video here and check it out. But it's there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna highlight this. Oh no, from here to here, and from here to here. Yep. And oh yeah, this one. Sorry. Okay, so that's it, my combinations and let's see how it works so just gonna close this one and it's very very easy so alt and w i move to up and down and if i don't have siblings i cannot work i mean if i don't have uh, brothers but if i go to let's say here and go down so now I can navigate my my fingers. So let's say I I here and I want to to select all these fingers. So I shift, and now I have all selected. Shift left or right, and now I want to add the other finger. So I just want to move one down. So it selects multiple at the same time. One down. So Alt S again. You can see, I'll just let me hide the, um, the guide there and maybe make the joints uh, display. Yep, a little smaller. Okay, around there should be better. So obviously you can start from this selection. Oh, I'm sorry, the other one. And then you go up and down like this. Uh, obviously when you, you go too much up, it's centralized to one object at a time. So when you go down again, you need to so you can see here it's it's quite easy to to navigate up and down the hierarchy but if i want to select the other fingers okay i use the alt x was saying here on the um on the little explanation i did um yeah this one that um yeah you, you, there are not brothers they are not direct related they are kind of cousins or something so but you you, you can understand that they are symmetrical so I have the alt x so alt x jumps from one symmetry to another using the naming so it's quite easy and alt shift x will select both at the same time so you have there so i think it's it's worth to try it so you can go up and down you can change so you can now let's say i go down one i move this i move there i go down one i go there go down one go there x Go there, up, up, go there, one down, go there, X again, so adjust this one, go up, now shift X, both at the same time. So you can see when you get used, it's quite easy to manipulate the rig with this uh, custom pick walks and the uh, using the taking advantage of the uh, control tags to do some of the parts. So I think that's all for the custom um walk i hope it's useful for you um i'm working in a new updates and new options for this uh this behavior so it's even faster to manipulate your rigs but i'm completely open to comments and uh, suggestions so please feel free to to comment on the video or on the uh, uh google group for mgear users thank you for listening see you in the new video bye bye